I'd also like to show you the highlights and notes feature. So right now you see that highlights and notes has a zero next to it. Whenever I click and select anything on the article, a box will appear that allows me to create highlights and notes for this article. I can select a color to highlight and I can add a note for this highlight. For example, use this in my essay. And then you want to make sure you click save. You can do this as many times as you would like in the article. You can change colors, you can change notes, whatever you feel is important and necessary to help you in writing your research paper, you can create. You can delete the note if you change your mind about having it here by clicking the trash can as well. Now I've done three highlights and notes and when I come back up here to highlights and notes you'll notice that my zero has changed to a three. Now if I download this article now to my Google Drive or to my email, it will include the highlights and notes in that article. I can also pull the highlights and notes on their own. When I click on this here, you'll notice here are all of my highlights and notes. And if I click on the button view all highlights and notes, it will show them to me on their own page. And here they are formatted in MLA 8 style. I can edit my notes here as well as going back to the document and editing them there. From here, I can download my highlights and notes or I can send them to my Google Drive or to email. And they will be on their own individual page or document as highlights and notes. I'll go back. You'll notice that my highlights and notes are still there. Once I leave this database, the highlights and notes will disappear. So it's important to save them or print them or download them before you exit the database.